guys, it's Nick. I'm here in Clearwater Beach again, and it is Saturday, uh, March 13th, like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and look how many people is out here. It is packed, and the water isn't even that cold. There's a whole lot of people in here uh, swimming and everything. So let's take a walk and see how really packed this place is. So, I tried coming here two weeks ago uh, in the afternoon from uh, Treasure Island Beach and uh, driving up that peninsula took me more than an hour to get here and then when I got here, I couldn't even get any parking in a parking lot. It was so packed like around six o'clock in the evening. So, today I parked my car in Clearwater downtown and rode my bike over the bridge and just park my bike so it seems uh, that might be quicker than actually driving over the bridge and driving around the congested Clearwater Beach streets to find uh, a parking lot or whatever. But looking at all the people out here and all the people in the water, uh, you probably could not tell whether this is March or this is August. It's pretty much a similar type of crowd here. And uh, straight ahead is Pier 60. And today I want to go take a walk on Pier 60 and check it out and see who's fishing over there and whatnot. And compare it maybe to the pier in Naples, Florida that I did a video on. And the pier in St. Petersburg, Florida downtown, the new pier. This is a, I think it's a older, pretty old pier. And I stuck my hand in the water, and it's not cold, it's not, it's not hot, it, it's a little five degrees below warm maybe, I don't know. But uh, all of these people can't be wrong to be in here swimming, they must uh, like it, so. So like I say in my other videos, a lot of people might be watching this from Iowa, New York, Chicago, whatever, and wondering two things. One, what's the weather like in Florida right now, you know, early March? And two, is everything open? Uh, you know, can I come down here and have a good time? Are there people out here? And as you can see for yourself, there are... <laughs> A lot of people out here so uh, all the restaurants are open hotels are open all that stuff um, I think in the stores you're supposed to wear a mask inside but not in restaurants that kind of thing So Clearwater Beach has really good with really bad. <laughs> the really good is this is ground zero where everybody comes. The really bad is this is ground zero where everybody comes. And so to get in and out of this place by car, if you're not staying here and you're just you know coming here for the day or whatever, either get here really early or really late. Because if you come in the middle of the day like I am here now, four o'clock, uh, just crazy traffic coming in and out and you're not gonna don't even think you're gonna find some kind of municipal parking lot or whatever you are gonna have to pay in the lots which are I think about $25 a day just walking here before and I think these cops were uh, giving somebody a ticket for drinking on the beach. So you can't drink alcohol on the beach. 
However, um, you know, if you keep it in a Dunkin' Donuts cup or something like that, and you don't get rowdy, then you will probably be left alone. But, um, you know, it all depends. All right. So let's go check out the pier right now. This is Pier 60. I don't know where the other 59 piers are, but um, one thing about this pier, it's the only pier I've ever seen with a toll booth on it. And I'll show you what I mean in a little bit uh, when we get to that house over there. You have to pay a dollar I believe to continue forward to the end of the pier so if you want to watch the sunset or something it's definitely worth it or you want to do some fishing definitely worth it and uh, I think for that dollar you can use the bathroom or something I don't know I think they have a bathroom So, as far as the eye could see, just thousands and thousands of people here today. And uh, it's not super hot, it's maybe 81, 82, something like that. Like I said, the water is swimmable, as you see by so many people in the water right now. Even though it's a little windy. And there's even more thousands this way. And here come cops maybe looking to, uh, I don't know, write some tickets or something. Uh, normally, I think there's more vendor booths on this pier selling stuff. Uh, I was here later on in the day, and there are a, a good amount of booths set up. So I don't know where they are today, but... Wow, look at that. That looks fun. Alright, let me get my dollar out so I can walk to the end of this thing. each person
Now, I know nothing about fishing, but I've been to a few different piers in Florida now. Uh, one in Fort DeSoto, St. Pete Pier, Naples Pier, this pier, and I have never seen so many people catching so many fish as I did in the Naples Pier. So let's see how clear water compares to that. Okay, so far, no action. But there's a lot of people here, so I don't think they would be here if, if there wasn't anything you know, to catch. Throwing bait in, I guess. Well, I haven't seen anybody catch anything yet, but I'm sure they have because these cutting boards have been used recently. But um, the verdict is Naples is still the best pier to go fishing, I would say. And if you wanna watch the sunset, come down here because it's right there and usually during the sunset you have a bunch of cruise boats going by, the pirate ship, uh, all kinds of stuff. So it's a real interesting scene coming out here around the sunset. Oh, wait, this guy caught something. There we go. There's one at least. So guys, that's a look at the Clearwater Beach and the Clearwater Pier, Pier 60, here on March 12, 2020. So if you're wondering if you should come out here, um, and if there's crowds and whatnot, and it's nice weather, just watch this video and you know your answer already. So come on out here and check it out if you're thinking about taking a vacation to Florida. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.